guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I'm a stay at home mom and an online reseller. And today I have another thrift haul from Whatnot. I just, it's an addiction. I am working very hard to watch shows that I don't um, plan to buy things from. <laughs> and sometimes I fail at that, but you know, that's the life of a reseller, I guess. So today I have two of these big bags from one person on whatnot. It almost always starts with me seeing something I want for myself. I purchase it and then um, they have good deals on other stuff. I pretty much only check into the shows where it's like $1 starts and that's what this was. So um, yeah, I'll show you what I got and I'll show you, hmm. I'll have to look on the invoice. I'll put on the screen who the seller is if you wanna check them out. I I honestly don't even remember what's in these. So I'm kind of excited to see. Um, and I'm not sure if this stuff is gonna go in a whatnot auction or just listed. I think I'm probably gonna just list most of it, but um, I probably already had my first whatnot show by the time you guys see this, but you can follow me over on whatnot. I'm at the Cozy Shire over there or my what is it even called? My store? I don't know. It's called the Cozy Shire. I have some things in the buy it now. Those might change by the time you see this because right now I have Christmas stuff in it where this is actually the first day of December when I'm recording this, but I have some other videos coming out. So I know you're not going to see this for a few weeks. Um, but yeah, so check me out over there. I plan to have several different shows. I have a lot of inventory to get rid of and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to start the prices. Initially, I was just doing things that I bought for like a dollar or less and I was going to um, auction those off starting at like five bucks a piece. But if it goes well and people are interested, then I can start some things a little bit higher than five bucks um, because I paid more than that for some things. So let's look in these and see what I ordered. So the only bad thing I see with this right now is that um, this is torn open and it arrived like this. First glance, it looks like everything's okay. So, I mean, these are pretty, seem like pretty decent bags. So I don't think that's like any fault of the seller. I'm pretty sure it was, you know, just the post office or whatever um, that caused that damage to happen. But I can see that the clothes immediately are like, you can see right here, they're not in bags or anything, like in poly bags. And I think that's how a lot of these auctions go. When you buy a lot of stuff, they don't really wanna, I'm sure, waste the resources or whatever, or, you know, Maybe they're being environmentally friendly. They don't want to use more plastic, but I always put my stuff in plastic, um, like cellophane bags inside of these bags. And this is kind of why, because like it was raining and windy yesterday where we live. Um, I mean, this stuff seems okay, but something could have happened to it. So hopefully everything inside is fine. They did include an invoice. So this was from Card Cartel TCG. So like I said, I'll put that on the screen here. And this says five items. I'm pretty sure I bought more than five items. So we'll see how this works out. Maybe there's another one in the other bag, but yeah, we'll see what's in here. Oh, okay, so this person, I remember, um, I was there for like the entire show and at the end he only had a couple things left. I think he gets things from the bins and that's how he sells them or sources them for whatnot. But he only had a couple things left and he was like, hey, you bought a lot from me. So if you're interested, like he was saying this specifically to me, he's like, you bought a lot from me. If there's anything else you want, I'll just throw it in your package for you. So that's um, what this was. This is a pair of leggings by Zella. They're like the Capri length leggings. It is really cute. Um, I thought there was a hole at first. It's just like a, a dent. <laughs> it is really cute, like pinkish color and gray stripes. Then the back is a like mesh on this gray part. That's a mesh. Um, it says Zella. I know I've heard of Zella a lot. I kind of looked up comps. Um, I mean, they didn't seem like anything crazy, but I've never sold them and these were one of the things he kind of just threw in. They are size large. They do have like that little pocket in the front and the waistband for like a key or whatever. So they're cute. I feel like it's kind of hard to sell um, like cropped leggings, but someone will want them at some point. I, You know, they could only be like a $10 thing where they might end up in one of my 
in one of my wet notches. So we'll see. If you're ever interested in anything here though, you can always send me a message here on YouTube or you can contact me over on Instagram. I'm also at the Cozy Shire over there or you know, whatever, comment on here. Just let me know if you see something you're interested in. This was the other item he kind of just threw in. Um, I did, he let me like pick two things. Kind of, this one might've been a bad pick. <laughs> it probably was a bad pick now that I uh, look at it more, but it is what it is, it's fine. It's just this uh, crew neck sweatshirt. And it's an Olympics, the Olympic Winter Games Vancouver 2010. And then it has it in French as well. The Jeux Olympiques d'hiver. It'd be games Olympics of winter if you translate it that way. It's the only good thing about taking five years of French is it does help me pronounce things, um, know what they mean. And it is on a Vancouver 2010 official licensed merchandise product official Elevate. This is a unisex XXL. So it definitely would be better if this were like, you know, a vintage Olympics sweatshirt or something like that, but it's not, that's okay. There still might be someone who wants some merch from there. And since I sell on eBay there, I also, um, I participate in the, oh, I can't do words today. I haven't gotten a lot of sleep lately. My baby's had me up a lot. Um, I participate in the global shipping program on eBay. That's what I'm trying to say. So I have shipped to Canada before. So maybe someone in Canada wants that. I don't know. Next up is a pair of jean shorts. Oh yeah, these are made well. I have never, I don't think I've ever bought, like sourced anything from made well myself. Um, so I was surprised no one else wanted these. They seem like they're in good condition. High rise, they are a size size, I don't know. They are the mom jean short size 28. Yeah. I don't know, they're just cute and they seem in good condition. The zipper works. So, some nice Madewell shorts. All of these, except for those two things I showed you first, because like I said, he kind of threw those in. All of these were a dollar. I pretty much bid the dollar start price and then if someone else like starts bidding against me. I usually don't bid back unless it's something really good. Um, I really only want the stuff at like a dollar because then I'm still paying shipping for like, what is it? Like a dollar 50 probably. I don't know. This guy actually had really, uh, really cheap shipping prices, but it's coming from Oregon. So I'm not sure. Oh, this is cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm reliving all these things with you guys. This is a Vans jean jacket. Vans, like the uh, skate brand. It's embroidered right there. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought, so that's cool. And then it's plain on the back. It is a size extra small, but that's okay. What's really cool is the inside here. What's it say? Together forever. Isn't that cute? But uh, yeah, it. when I first saw it, when he showed it initially, I thought this was like embroidered on the back and you could just see it through the back, but it's not. It's like screen printed on the inside back. So um, extra small isn't like the most ideal size, but that's okay. I actually feel like this might be a men's extra small. I don't, it just looks kind of big for a women's extra small. I don't know, I'll have to look up the jacket and maybe it'll tell me if it's men's or women's. I mean, the writing is a little bit girly and there's butterflies and a heart, so I guess it's probably women's, but it's definitely more oversized. I'd say at least a small, maybe even a medium. I'm a medium, but I don't know. No one else wanted that. I thought that was really cool. Next is a brand new pair of Wrangler jeans. These are a 36 by 30, they are black. Here's the cowboy cut Wranglers. I have sold cowboy cut Wranglers before. They took a little bit, but they sold. Maybe these are really dark brown. I think these are a dark brown instead of black, now that I'm looking at them better. Uh, yeah, so uh, it does look like an older, 
tag, but I think it's just made to look old because there's like a barcode and everything. Their original fit fits over boots. They're originally $39. I think I sold the ones I had somewhere in that, um, I don't know, 20 ish dollar range, something like that. Next is a youth t-shirt. It's just a giant like Henley t-shirt number six. I don't know who that, who was number six. I don't know. And then it says majestic on the sleeve there. It's a majestic youth large. Um, I might put this in my kids show. I think right now, like I said, you're going to have already seen this, but that's fine. I think my first show I'm going to do women's kind of mall brand type clothing. And then I'll probably do a kids show. And then I'll probably do an active wear show because I feel like doing active wear in like January when everyone's getting back to the gym and stuff was probably a good bet. But we'll see. We'll see how things pan out. Next is a pair of joggers. These are C9 by Champion, size extra large. Just gray with like a cotton top and functional drawstring. They got pockets and then a jogger style bottom and they also zipper at the leg there. I'm trying to determine if these are men's or women's. I'll have to like look into them more. Just says extra large. Yeah, they're a couple years old. They're from 2014. They were um, from Target. That's where C9 is sold. I don't know. I don't know if they're men's or women's. I'll have to maybe do some measurements to find out. They're really good quality, though. It doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with them from what I can tell. Oh, I spoke too soon. There's a little bit of a pool here. I can snip that off. There's a little bit of a stain right there but you can feel it it's kind of like crusty which I know sounds disgusting but when they're crusty that usually means it'll come off when you wash it next is a pair of Nike these are Nike dry fit um, like I guess like a yoga pant kind of they have like a boot cut or a little flare leg they're a size small I don't know I don't know if this is still in or not. I feel like the leg style comes and goes. They look like they're in pretty good condition. A little bit of pilling in the crotch area, so I can, uh, I'll clean that out. Or not clean it, but, you know, sweater shave it. And the last thing in this bag is this Columbia coat. This is really cool purple with like the green and the blue it's um it's like a windbreaker material more than like a waterproof material it's kind of that like rough feeling it's not like super silky still seems good it's got a hood that can roll into the collar oh I see I think it's supposed to be a winter coat and it um is missing the inner inner lining or whatever because it has another zipper here so it's supposed to have like an inner fleece probably or something like that so i'll have to sell it just as like a raincoat that's okay it's not a big deal like i said i picked these things up for a dollar so i feel like this has to be vintage though definitely seems like an older columbia tag yeah i don't know what year but it's definitely an older columbia tag i think also it says um uh, you can't really tell, but <laughs> it's really worn off. Anyway, definitely think this is a vintage piece. Oh, and it says Long's Peak on the back. So I don't know if this was bought for like some sort of company or something. I'm not sure. I might try it on, to be honest, but I'm usually like a medium or sometimes even a large in coats. But since it doesn't have that inner lining, I'll try it on but I'm thinking it's probably not gonna fit. Yeah, I mean, it like fits, but not how I'd want it to. And I kind of have long arms, so it gets short when I stretch out. So we'll sell that. I don't know what it'll sell for since it's missing the inner part, but 
like I said, I got it for a dollar. So that's everything from that first bag. So we will move on to the second bag. So yeah, that had the Columbia coat. Then there were just three items. The Wrangler pants, the Madewell jeans, shorts, Madewell jean shorts, and the Vans. He, didn't, he just wrote the numbers for the other things. Okay, this is why I started bidding on stuff. It's because I found something I wanted for myself. This, um, like Sherpa, <laughs> I wanted this for myself. That's why I added other things on. Cause once you buy one thing, then you get discounted shipping and then everything else comes out pretty cheap. So this is by the brand Pink, size medium. Probably use a little refluff. I just got my, um, like, I don't know what you call it. Some sort of comb for like fleece and cashmere and things like that. I just got that in the mail yesterday. I haven't gotten to open it yet, but I think that'll refluff this nicely. So if it doesn't fit or I don't like it, then I'll sell it, but love that. Really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the packing slip. This is really, oh, I was like, this is really thick. Uh, he printed it off on like, these are the labels I use. This is the back side, but where you have two big labels. Um, I don't know if he just like forgot to switch his paper or didn't care, but that's fine with me. Um, yeah, so that's why it feels really thick because they're on like adhesive labels. So let's see here. Pink Sherpa. So I paid $2 for that. I think one other person bid on it. I got it for $2 plus whatever the shipping was. And then every single thing I bought after that, oh, almost everything was a dollar. One thing was $2 and one thing was $3. So I'll show you those as we go through. So this one was actually $2. This is a Dickies brand. Um, jacket. It's like that windbreaker material, the nylon on the outside, but then it's fleece on the inside. It has the hood. It's a size 2XL. That's kind of why I wanted it. Dickies is a good brand and um, 2XL, that's a good size. So I think this is a men's, I would assume. That's a nice coat. That was worth $2. <laughs> And I got this shirt. This is from Pink Victoria's Secret and it's the with Fifth and Ocean, which is, I don't really know exactly what that is, but it's always their like collegiate apparel. So this shirt, OS, is that Oklahoma? I have no idea. <laughs> Oregon, he's in Oregon. Maybe it's Oregon, Oregon State. I'll have to look it up. Um, but on the back it says, Everything is better on game day. And it's just like bedazzled. I've sold this brand, um, like pink college apparel before. It's a size large, so it's a good size. Looks to be in good condition. I just had to figure out who this is. If you know, let me know. <laughs> and I got this workout tank top. It's like a muscle tank top by the brand Puma. It's this pretty pink color. Has a little logo there. And I thought this part was cool. It's got that strip all the way down the back that says Puma. It's like that, a ribbon. And this is a size large, it says keeps you dry. So some sort of moisture wicking. I just thought that was a cool workout tank. No one else was interested in it. So I tend to go for a lot of the, um, I guess you call them mall brands. Like I like Pink Victoria's Secret and Puma or Airy or whatever. I think they do pretty well for me. Speaking of pink, here's another pink item. Uh, this one feels a little bit jacked up. I'll have to see if I can mess with it, but it's just this sports bra. It says pink, pink, pink. And it's got this like crisscross detail there. Like I think it's called lattice usually on the back and on the side as well. It is a size large pink Victoria's Secret Ultimate unlined, so it has no padding or anything. The only downside is I can feel in here, this um, elastic band is like scrunched up, but 
Yeah, I can already feel it. I can work it around and unscrunch it. It's like, probably got put in the dryer and it's just all scrunched up. So we'll flatten that out and it won't look, you can already tell a difference here. Like this is where it looks like all crunched up and then this side I flattened out, so. Definitely looks better. Like I said, I like selling pink. I feel like a lot of people think it's not worth it, but I've sold some decent pieces. Um, I feel like a lot of them go on Mercari. This is a pair of Code Gear Under Armour leggings in a size large. I'm picky about leggings because some don't sell. <laughs> I definitely think you need to have the um, like full length. So these are either full length or like a seven eighth, but like, like the Zella ones I was saying about, these probably weren't like the best pickup, but like I said, he just told me to pick two things and it was one of the things I picked. Um, but yeah, these feel really good. They look in great condition. There's one little snag here. I can snip that off. Yeah, these feel nice. I wish they were my size. I'd probably keep them if they were my size, but I am not a large. Another pair of leggings. These are also by the brand Pink. These are the Victoria's Secret Yoga in a size medium. So like these ones are definitely a crop length. I might try these ones on for myself. They're, I'm a medium, so. It's just this cool waistband on top. They're definitely um, faded black but I have that pair wall to try out. So I'm gonna try that on several black items or dark items that need to have their pigment restored. This is just the tag. I mean, it's like cracking and stuff. So these definitely have been washed several times. That's okay. I'm gonna try those on for myself, I think. And what I'll end up doing, since there's some items in here that he kind of like threw in, I will go back and add up what I paid for everything minus the things I keep for myself. And then I will average out my cost of goods. That's what I've done in the past and that seems to work fine for me. This is a pair of Victoria's Secret like pajama pants or lounge pants. They are just black. They definitely feel like pajama pants. They're very lightweight. They have pockets. They are quite thin. You can see, see through them. That's why I know they're lightweight. They're size medium, regular. Um, I don't know if I wanna sell these. These are actually quite pilly. And because of the fabric, like how thin it is, I'd be a little bit afraid to um, sweater shave it just because I'd be afraid that it might cut a hole in it. So, this might end up in my pile of stuff as well. I could use another pair of pajama pants, why not, right? All right, this item I did bid back and forth a little bit and I ended up paying $3 for it. It is this Nike hoodie. It's black and gray. Here's the hood. And it is a Thermafit, size medium men's hoodie. Looks to be in pretty good condition. I always have to be careful with this kind of fabric because it snags pretty easily. But yeah, it looks pretty good. So yeah, like I said, I paid three bucks for that one, but I don't mind paying up a little bit for Nike. <laughs> Next are these Free People jeans. They're from We The Free. Show you the tag first. They are size 24, so they are quite tiny, which I think is why no one wanted them. Because I only paid a buck for these. They are very small. <laughs> they are very small. But they have a raw hem. They look high rise. They look to be in really good condition. I've never found free people jeans. I barely find free, po free people at all, so. Um, oh, it looks like someone cut it out. That's a bummer. Oh wait, here's another tag. Okay. Yeah, US 24. I think maybe they cut out the thing that'll tell me the style. Not sure, but they are cotton, polyester, and elastane. Anyway, I'm sure there's someone out there who needs uh, tiny waisted jeans, especially like teenagers or I don't know, maybe like tweens who want this brand. 
someone will buy them. It might just take a little longer to find the right buyer. These I probably will not put in an auction though. I think I'll sell them because of that reason because I think they are gonna take a little while to find the right person. And the last thing I got for $1 is this headband. It's pretty cool. Not my color style, but fleece lined. It's got fuzzies and it's lint rolled, but that's okay. Um, but I did grab this because it is Pendleton. I think this is nice for someone who's like skiing or something. Doesn't have any other tags, but I would venture to say this feels like a wool blend. Doesn't really stretch much, but I thought it was cute for a dollar. I thought it was worth it. So that is everything I got. Let me count how many pieces I got to sell. So I got 17 pieces to sell and then three pieces that I'll probably keep for myself. But this is definitely a good buyer or a good seller. I'm a good buyer, right? Um, now he seems like a good seller. He did pretty well with like, everything was in pretty good condition. I know even when we were there, he's like some of the stuff's in the dryer. So he washes at least some of the stuff. I don't know if he washes everything. I don't even wash everything if I get it from the bins or the thrift store, but he definitely seems like um, a good guy. And he said that, I'm sorry, I don't know his actual name, Blake. I think it said Blake. Yes, his name is Blake. Um, and he was very much like, you know, if there's anything wrong, contact me and I'll make it right kind of guy. So this was a, a, a good purchase. I think these are gonna do well. I definitely think I'll make my money back and I'm excited to list them when I get a chance to. Hey, it's me. I'm just popping back in real quick because uh, apparently I ordered more for him and totally forgot, <laughs> but it came today in the mail. The other stuff came yesterday. So I don't know, but I forgot. I also got two hats from him and I actually got the two of them for a dollar. So I got this Vans hat. Uh, it has like a little bit of a crease here. He did put them in a box, but it was this box and it's not quite tall enough. So it still squished them a little bit. It's okay. The bill is in really good condition and it's a snapback. And let's see, what does it say? It is an official Vans off the wall. Oh, it probably doesn't have a size because it's like adjustable. But there's the Vans tag. And then the other one I got, um, I do like to sell hats, so I don't pick up everything, but is this one, I believe this is Red Wings is what he said, which I think is hockey. Don't know for sure. Um, it unfortunately is like a sized hat. It doesn't adjust in the back, so those are harder to sell, but Oh yeah, the whole inside says old time hockey, like all those strips. And then old time hockey, all guts, no glory, one size, yeah. So I have no idea how these specific hats will do, but I thought I'd give them a shot. They are both clean on the inside. This one has like a lot of these stringies. I don't know why. Um, uh, I guess because let me see here. It's just the way the elastic is like sewn in. I think the elastic is coming unattached, which isn't great. I'll cut them off and I think it'll be fine. But yeah, just wanted to pop in and say that real quick. Okay, back to the video. So thanks for watching this video. Definitely leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite piece was. Or if you want any of these pieces, let me know that too. Give me a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more haul videos. I'm sure I will have more to come for whatnot and for other thrift stores. I need to stop buying on whatnot. I'm trying not to. So I don't know if I'm doing a good job of that, but I'm trying. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.